First we need to marinate the trout. I'm using a paste of black garlic and olive oil here, but if you can't find black garlic, red miso will do. Then, onto the tomato crust. We season some cherry tomatoes with a little bit of salt and pepper. We're going to pot that into an oven at 175 degrees C. To make the sweet potato, we're just going to cut that into discs, about an inch thick. Season with salt and pepper again, a knob of butter. And that goes into the same oven for about 20 minutes as well. Next onto the beef. We're going to season it really well with salt and black pepper and then we're going to pop it in a pan to sear it on both sides. Again I'm using a knob of butter to get a really good nice caramelised colour on there. Now that's done we're going to finish off our tomato crust. In with our baked tomatoes. We're going to crush three cloves of garlic in a pestle and mortar with a little bit of salt to help it crush. Then we're going to mix that in, add some breadcrumbs, a little bit of grated gruyere, and we're going to mix that up into a nice paste. Top each of the fillets with a little bit of the tomato crumb, and then you can reserve that for later on when we're going to bake it and get a nice crust on it. Next, trim the green beans ready for steaming, and then we're going to get on to making our red wine sauce. Take a glass of wine, pour it into a hot pan, and begin to reduce by half. And then we're going to add a couple of bay leaves for flavour before adding some beef stock and again reducing that down by half until you get a nice glossy sauce. If you're using spaghetti squash, just bake in a 180 degree oven for about 40 minutes until it's nice and soft. If like me you couldn't find spaghetti squash, butternut will do. And I'm just going to steam that in a pan with a little bit of butter, salt and pepper. Now we're ready to cook all the main elements. Put the beef and the trout in a hot oven for about 15 minutes until the beef is medium rare and the fish just cooked. Heat up the green beans and spaghetti squash and we're ready to plate up. Hope you enjoy it.